Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to share with you my CRM system. This is a question that I've been getting a lot and I've avoided for a long time because honestly I had not found a perfect solution for me. I was very disorganized until I found HoneyBook and I'm so, so excited to share this tool with you all. It's honestly up-leveled my business in more ways than one. So first you might be wondering what is a CRM? A CRM is a client relationship manager or a customer relationship manager however you'd like to refer to it. And basically just think of it as a hub for your business. It's what really ties your business together and it does everything from, you know, account management, storing customer information like their email, their phone number, their mailing address, getting them to actually sign contracts, pay invoices, setting up payment plans, communication, so sending emails back and forth, storing templates for emails and questionnaires and forms scheduling, I mean, like, it's the hub for your business. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of my HoneyBook account and just kind of show you how to get started with it. This is not gonna be an exhaustive video because there is so much that this tool can do that to be honest with you, I have not even fully explored yet. So I'm just gonna share what I've been doing to basically get my clients from a form to a paying client. Let, let, let's hop in. Ignore like everything in the beginning. Like th that's my advice. I don't know what it was, but I got really tripped up on this first screen and couldn't move past it. Like, I I didn't know, I don't know, there was like a mind block for me. So just ignore that stuff. What I want you to do instead is go up to tools and then click on templates first. Now, if you don't do anything else, this template section alone is a game changer for the business. So even if you're just using templates, you're gonna be pretty happy, I think. If you look over here on the left, there's these different categories and HoneyBook is actually going to have a bunch of these pre-filled for you. So you can see the ones that say HB template here. Those are HoneyBook's templates that they already have in here, which is actually quite awesome. Spend some time looking through these and see if any of these are relevant for your business, like request for a discount. I didn't even think about that. That's so awesome. But what I definitely recommend doing is thinking through your own workflow as well. Typically, a client is gonna come in through a contact form and they're gonna say, hey, I'm interested in so-and-so service, right? So you need to have an email that matches up with that response. So as you can see here, I have a coaching application accepted. So this is what I would send off to people who filled out my coaching application and I think they'd be a good fit and I wanna take them over to the next step. So I just typed in this email, I'll show you how you do it. Super, super easy, you simply click on create new email and then you start typing hey blah 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 here's what I need from you and then you can even save the subject line so it's gonna go out for you you can add your email signature there you can add client names to it so it's personalized and all of that good stuff then you're gonna name the email up here so coaching application test and save it basically so once I actually filled this out, it would look like this one. So there's an email template. So the cool thing about this is that anytime somebody comes in, they're accepted on my end to move forward with the next step. I don't have to copy and paste this email. I can simply insert this into their project. And I'll show you how you do that in just a second. You can also do that for invoices. So I have an invoice for my mentorship program here, but I could also have that for different packages of my social media agency. So if I wanted to have a monthly Instagram package or a consulting package or whatever it is, you can actually create these different invoices. You can also do the same thing for contracts. So if you have your own attorney drafted contract, you can upload that. And HoneyBook actually has a template in here as well. So they have one pre-filled out for you that if you don't have a contract already, you can go ahead and customize this. There's also questionnaires. So questionnaires, I have a coaching onboarding form. So when somebody goes ahead and pays for coaching, I ask them to fill out one more questionnaire for me that captures their mailing address, some things about how they like to learn and how they best like to work together, uh, communicate in between calls and things like that, just so I can get to know them a little bit better and really personalize the coaching experience to them. And then another template they have is brochures. So this is something great that you can use if you do offer multiple services. So if you wanna showcase a photography package, a social media management package, whatever it is, you can actually create it into a really nice looking brochure and send off to clients while they're making the decision-making process. Now, 
I know already that that's a little bit overwhelming. So let me just stop you there and say, that's all you need to do right now. There are other things that you can do with this, but that's all I'm gonna show you for this video. I don't want this to be crazy long. I simply have some email templates in here. I have some invoices, some proposals, some questionnaires, and that's good for me right now. Now, the other thing that you're gonna wanna think about is getting people into this tool, right? So you have some templates set up, now, how do we actually get people to become projects and clients within the tool? So there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. There is the scheduling tab. So I'm gonna click on this real quick. So I'm able to actually set up my calendar, connect it with my Google calendar that I use for my day-to-day -day work stuff and choose days of the week that I'm available for discovery sessions for potential new clients and for existing client calls. So as you can see, I take Mondays off. I don't take it off of work, but I take it off of client calls. So I'm available, you know, on these days for discovery calls and coaching calls. And I can customize this again. I can just click on edit and I can choose to apply different times to all Tuesdays or just if it's a certain day. So for example, going out to Thanksgiving week, actually I need to update this one. So this is Thanksgiving. So I'm going to remove my availability just for this day. I'm gonna remove my availability for Black Friday so nobody can schedule new discovery calls with me on the week of the holiday. So I'll click on preview here. When a client comes in, they say they're interested in coaching, I'll say, cool, set up a discovery session with me to make sure that we're a good fit. This is what they'll see. They'll then be able to self-select times based on my you know, qualifications and my availability, select a time, click continue, and they get a calendar invite on their calendar. It's super seamless. So this is what the client will see. They'll be able to add it to their calendar. And I just got, I don't know if you guys can see this, probably not, but I just got a notification on my phone that tells me that test test scheduled a discovery session with me. So that's pretty cool. There's a mobile app, which I love, but then I'm also gonna see it in my notifications here. They're also gonna show up on the projects section as a new project. So you can see here, I have 11 active projects. You can see what stage they're in. Again, don't get too overwhelmed with this when you're first starting out, just do the minimum to start with, but um, yeah, they show up here and now they're in this, this section. I can click on this project now, and this is sort of my portal, my client portal for them. I can customize this based on type of project. So if this was a corporate client, I could make it a very like corporate background. If this was an individual, I can make it really fun and fresh and, and kind of modern, whatever I wanted to do. I can also send an email to them right here. I don't need to open up Gmail or anything like that. I can simply click here and say, oh my gosh, awesome that you scheduled a discovery session. Here's what you need to come prepared with. I can pull from my templates, so I don't even need to think about it. And these are gonna show me all of my email templates and templates that I have. So let's see, where's my coaching application accepted? Right here, I could go ahead and just send that. And again, I don't have to think about what I'm saying to them, it's super awesome. Now there's another way that people can enter into my HoneyBook kind of funnel as well, and that is through my contact form. So if we click here on contact form, you can create as many of these as you need. So this one is for my coaching, my mentorship program. So I used to use a Google form for this and it was okay, but the problem is Google forms doesn't really notify you very well. And you have to actually copy and paste the email address from the form and it's a lot of back and forth. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when somebody just goes ahead and fills this out though. So I have a link to it here. They click on it. We'll go ahead and just pretend fill this out. And one cool thing also is that I do have a how do how did you hear about me field. I can actually track my leads in my dashboard, which is so, so awesome and figure out where exactly people are finding me, which is very valuable because obviously if you know where they're coming from, you know what to continue to invest in. So I'll send this form through. I, again, I don't know if you can see this, but I got a notification saying a new inquiry was sent through from test test. <laughs> They'll show up in my projects. We have Latasha's project here. So we'll click on this and I will be able to see their responses. So obviously I didn't fill this out, but I'll be able to pre-qualify them right here through this tool. I don't need to go to, to Google Forms or Typeform or anything like that. I can see everything that I need. 
If I read this and I say, oh, they'd look like they'd be an awesome fit, again, I can go ahead into my templates, coaching application accepted, send that through, and then they can book their discovery call. So those are the two ways that I allow people to enter my HoneyBook funnel right now, but there's a lot of other things that you can do with this as well. So anyway, once we have that call, and we decide we wanna move forward, I'm gonna go over to tools, go over to templates, and find my mentorship proposal. Click on that and click on use this template, and then I will find the existing project. And then I can do a bunch of different things here. So I can add a discount. I can choose the payment dates. So typically I just do one flat fee for a lot of my services, but if you were using this for your agency and you wanted to schedule monthly payments, you can just click on add another payment and you can choose the custom date, you know, a fixed date. You can do midway, you can do custom frequency. And one thing that I really like about this too is that you can do custom amounts for the different payments as well. So you don't have to do all $500 for a $1,500 program. You can click and do a custom amount and make it $550 a month if they wanna do the payment plan. Or, you know, an example is if you're doing like a web design project, a lot of times we'll do a deposit. So you could do a 30% deposit at the beginning instead of doing, you know, equal amounts or something like that. So anyway, once you go through, then you'll be able to read through your agreement that's attached to your proposal and you can review the email. From here, you can then go ahead and choose from your templates and you have a an email and a proposal ready to go. The client will go ahead and open it up and all they need to do is sign, pay, and they are in and it, you will get a notification as well saying, hey, this person signed up, they signed, they paid, you're good to go. And then you can kind of do things from there. Now, I'm not gonna get into this today because I see this is already quite a long video, but you can even do automation. So let's say that this person paid, signed up for your service. You could automatically have an email go out right after that saying that uh, here's here's the onboarding form that I need you to fill out based on the last action that they took. So you don't even need to sit there and, and do all of this manually. It can really be on autopilot for you. But again, that's getting a little bit complex and I don't want to make this super confusing, just as sort of just as sort of an intro to this to this tool. So I'll leave it there. Those are some of my favorite things that you can do. Basically, this tool has eliminated the need for Wave, which was what I was using to send invoices or PayPal, Google Forms, Acuity Scheduling. I used an email tool. I can't remember what it's called now, but it saved email templates for me and stuff. I mean, it's eliminated so much. The next question that you're probably gonna be asking is how much does this cost? So regular price, HoneyBook is $40 a month, which I think is well worth it. Such a justified business expense. Again, such a game changer in the business. But I actually have a special link for you guys through, I believe it's through November. So I would get on it sooner rather than later. It's gonna be linked in the description box. You guys, you can get it for $1 per month for your first eight months. So that means $8 total for the first eight months, which is an unbelievably awesome deal. So, and they do have a free seven day trial as well, either way. So if you try it out and you're like, I don't like this, you're out nothing. But if you do like it, you get it for $1 a month, which is like, I don't pay $1 a month for any of the tools that I use in my business. That is just a, such a phenomenal deal. So I definitely recommend you take advantage of that. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, but I am an affiliate through HoneyBook and that's actually a bonus for anybody watching is you will get your own referral links as well. So you can, you know, share the love with some of your friends. So it's kind of a win-win type of tool. So definitely recommend you guys check it out. I don't know, it's changed the game for me and I think it just has really upped the professionalism. The thing that actually got me to go ahead and sign up is my wedding planner uses this. And I've always heard about HoneyBook. I tried it out a couple of times, but it just didn't stick for some reason. But from the client side, seeing how my wedding planner uses it, it's just so much more professional. I feel like I am working with a true a business owner and service provider versus kind of like having all these random forms and files flying back and forth. It just feels so much more luxe and professional. So I was like, okay, I see it from the client side of, you know, point of view. Now I really want to deliver that same feeling to my clients. So it's been well worth the investment. Highly recommend you guys check it out. If you have any questions about it, leave your questions down below. You can also contact HoneyBook Support. They're super awesome and responsive on Twitter or email or you know anywhere that you can find them. 
I will probably do more videos on HoneyBook in the future. So yeah, leave me questions if you have them, but I just don't wanna make it overwhelming for now because there's a lot that this tool can do. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Tune in on Friday for a new episode of the Freelance Friday podcast, and I will see you next time. Bye.